you're watching the morning expresso i'm charulata biswas here's the big story after vijay rupani's abrupt resignation the bjp sprang another surprise by picking first time mla bhupendra patel for the top job patel who won from the seat that had been represented earlier by up governor anandi ben patel will take oath this afternoon and is expected to announce the new council of ministers in a day or two Patel contested his first major election in 2010 as corporator from the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation AMC colleagues who have worked with Patel in the AMC and Ahmedabad Urban Development Authority talk of him as a simple grounded person with a non-controversial image Here are the stories you will find only in the Indian Express. In this edition of the Idea Exchange, BSP National General Secretary Satish Chandra Mishra defends BSP's Brahmin outreach and says party stands for Sarv Samaj, insists BSP has been active and raising issues in the parliament and courts and says that while the party is ready to back the Congress on issues, it will do so on its own terms. Here are the top stories from the front page. In its first clear and official reference to the Taliban as a state actor, India acknowledged in a joint statement with Australia that the group holds positions of power and authority across Afghanistan. This reference is a step forward for the diplomatic establishment but falls short of officially recognizing the Taliban administration as the government of Afghanistan. A police officer died of injuries shortly after he was shot at point blank range by suspected militants in Srinagar. CCTV camera footage of the incident showed a suspected militant appearing from behind Meer and opening fire at him using a pistol. His killing evoked strong criticism from the mainstream political parties in the Kashmir Valley. Insisting that revenue records only identify Gair Mumkin Pahar and make no mention of Arabali, a high-level committee of the Haryana government has asked officials to identify the areas under Arabali on the basis of a 1992. notification of the union ministry of environment forest and climate change which only covers the areas of the old gurgaon district currently gurgaon and no padusaneri is one of the 21 villages in kodia gram panchayat that lie at the center of a long standing border conflict between odisha and andhra pradesh here the school with a map of odisha on one of its walls is shut it is open only two days a week owing to the pandemic But the students are away at the nearby Telugu medium Mandal Parishad Primary School. Although the Supreme Court advised both the state governments to resolve the border dispute, little has changed on the ground. A man in Mysore whose street side library was burned down five months ago under mysterious circumstances has received thousands of books from across the world to restart his venture. But his wait for a formal site or building for the library continues despite promises by the officials. The 63-year-old who has so far received more than 8000 books from places far and wide including the USA, Canada, England, Dubai, Kolkata, Delhi and Mumbai now hopes to set up the new library soon. While launching Ray-Ban Stories, smart glasses for which Facebook partnered with the eyewear brand The social networking giant CEO Mark Zuckerberg alluded to the product being an important step towards a time when phones are no longer a central part of our lives. Even as these modernized renditions of traditional products hold the promise to change how internet is used, they come with a huge set of privacy concerns. The smile on Emma Raducanu's face only get bigger as the chorus of Sweet Caroline bled across the Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. It was the most British celebration you could have imagined to mark Raducanu's 6-4-6-3 win over Canadian Leila Fernandez in the US Open final. Her biggest title until now had come at a futures event at the Deccan Gymkhana Courts of Pune in 2019. She spent 3 weeks in India even playing an ITF tournament in Solapur. The Cinderella story though was realized in the early hours on Sunday at Tennis Grand's 23,000 seater. 
And in today's Delhi Confidential, we talk about Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi, whose writing skills are being put to good use. The minister has penned lyrics of a new jingle for the Women and Child Development Ministry's Posha Abhiyan campaign. And finally, in uh, this episode of our tech podcast, Vikram Gulati, Country Head and Senior VP at Toyota Kirloskar Motor, joins host Nan Gopal Rajan to discuss the future of electric vehicles in the Indian market. That's a wrap from my side. For all the news updates, log on to IndianExpress.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.